Hi there, my name's Andy and uh, I just wanted to share with you uh, a couple of radio books that I've recently purchased from eBay. Surprisingly, both books cost the same when I take the postage into account. Uh, the little one there, uh, I paid uh, just over £9 uh, for it, so that's about $13.50 and uh, the larger book, uh, that, that only cost me five pounds, so about uh, uh, seven dollars fifty. Um, but the, the postage was three times the cost of the book. Um, but I really don't begrudge uh, the price of either of them, as um, uh, they're both uh, very interesting books in their own way. It was uh, this image on the front of the book that uh, caught my attention in the uh, description on the uh, eBay uh, advert. And you'll see it's called the Handy Helper for the Radio Repair, or for Radio Repair. And um, on the front here, just get some close-ups. So uh, there's the title. And, uh, the index and I'm um, not sure what those holes were it looks like somebody playing with a ticket machine or something um, and uh, you see it's uh, printed in uh, Buenos Aires and there's a date there 1948 and uh, it's uh, got a lot of interesting things uh, of course all very dated it was actually described as having uh, 12 pages it's actually got 24 sides um, definitions uh, conversion values um, uh, standard um, radio manufacturers associations for uh, code for resistor colors so and that's not changed um, it's printed on a, uh, a cardboard that seems to be uh, uh, varnished and then a little bit on the uh, shape of condensers and uh, it says here straight line I'll just zoom in a bit there uh, straight line um, for capacity uh, uh, straight line frequency so I've talked about uh, that in the capacitors uh, section and um, here uh, straight line for wave so that relates to the shape of the plate and uh, it's shown here that the maximum capacity is when the the plates are actually disengaged so uh, although in the top part here they uh, uh, they correctly say that the maximum capacity is uh, when the plates are engaged then uh, whoever's done the illustration sorry whoever's done the illustration there has um, put maximum capacity in, instead of minimum capacity and here with the plates fully engaged um, so maybe they've uh, confused a generation there and then uh, more on uh, color codes uh, symbols um, useful formula radio hints and uh, it says at the top here reproduction in whole or part is forbidden so I hope that this doesn't uh, constitute reproduction um, anyway I just thought that was a lovely little book I shall probably sell it again I just wanted to own it for a little while like the crystal set I've got I just wanted to uh, own it for a little while um, and then uh, let somebody else enjoy it I don't want to make a profit on it I just wanted to uh, uh, to to hold it I don't have a, a Kindle uh, an electronic book um, but uh, uh, when this arrived in the post I was really delighted and uh, I don't know as I'd get that from uh, uh, a bit of electronic equipment the other book has the grand title of uh, the radio designers handbook and uh, 
this is uh, by the uh, there's a lot of uh, lines on the screen here. Uh, the vintage audio company and this is enormous uh, say so that the postage was three times the cost of the book and it's um, 1500 pages uh, there that's uh, I've opened it on uh, uh, 1498 and it is packed with uh, all sorts of information a lot of it I shall never use a lot of it I shall never understand um, but uh, uh, fabulous um, uh, list of, of contents don't know what I'm catching here I'm trying to look at the back of the camera and um, it's uh, essentially it's all radio valves uh, uh, or uh, tubes as uh, some folks like to call them um, but it is uh, a lot of fun and um, that's uh, grid current characteristics um, uh, examples of transconductance calculations uh, admittance coefficients um, uh, resistive and capacitive filters uh, impedance calculations uh, winding capacitance uh, that's for transformers and chokes um, all manner of uh, uh, things I say a lot of it I shall probably never look at um, a lot of uh, details on uh, valve and um, so uh, uh, grid circuit arrangements which is what I'm looking at at the moment um, but uh, for five pounds um, I seem to be picking up some real bargains uh, with um, uh, the radio stuff I'm looking at at the moment. So I say that's 1500 pages of, um, of, of valves. Uh, <laughs> it'll keep me uh, um, uh, occupied for ages. Uh, some of it I know, some of it I shall never know. Um, but anyway, I just thought, um, pointed out to you that that. Uh, was available I think I was the only person that bid for it because they probably didn't like the 15 pounds um, postage that's been asked for but that is which is a little bit expensive as you could uh, you could ship that for uh, almost half that value but uh, it was reasonably well packed and uh, I'm delighted with it Another publication I've been looking at over the Christmas period is, uh, has been this. This is uh, a 1959, uh, funnily enough, December 1959, um, uh, Practical Wireless. And um, I, I just love this illustration on the front. Uh, it says a, uh, a mains three valve, um, so uh, a, a little radio. Uh, but the image on the front there, you could be forgiven for thinking it's a photograph, but that's uh, uh, an artist's drawing um, that's, uh, that's been coloured. So I don't know how that would have been done uh, originally, um, whether, whether or not it was uh, watercolours. Um, but uh, I'll just uh, zoom in a bit. And, uh, that, that's, a, that's a fabulous image. Uh, I would have been uh, nine in uh, 1959 and that this would have been way out of my league price for that one shilling and sixpence that would be seven and a half pence um, in uh, current uh, uh, UK currency um, but uh, this little magazine it's uh, I don't know how many pages it is um, Uh, well, it, it, it's actually marked 712 there, so I guess that's, um, I don't know what it started at. It, it started at 617, so uh, uh, I don't know what edition this is, if they were counting from the beginning or what. But um, uh, uh, lovely stuff advertised in here. Um, uh, 
a number 19 uh, wireless uh, transmitter uh, you could buy that for 65 uh, shillings um, so three pounds five shillings um, <laughs> uh, if uh, if only we'd bought them and again most of the adverts are uh, in the form of illustrations so they're they're artist il illustrations of the the tv set and the record player there and um, the meters uh, again um, but almost every page i could open them it's page after page of items that have been drawn um, skilled men uh, use your knowledge in a worthwhile job up to 25 pounds uh, tax-free bonus wow <laughs> um, uh, something I've never seen I'm not sure if I'm catching that with this camera um, and that's a tape deck uh, on a record player so actually using the turntable to uh, uh, act as the um, uh, the, the take-up um, but uh, bags of uh, oh the, the transistor circuit in this one um, uh, car and caravan radio circuits Anyway, I just thought that um, uh, I'd, I'd show this to you. I, I just love these um, uh, these magazines. Um, will you ever get the feel of that from uh, an electronic uh, book? I'm a bit hopeless. I sometimes write in the margins and I bend over corners. Um, uh, but there's there's a lovely feel to this, and there's uh, there's a bit of a smell <laughs> with the book. And uh, this little book actually belongs to a friend of mine, uh, Harry, and uh, he's got quite a few of these uh, magazines, and I've had um, just a few off him to have a look at, and then they'll, they'll go back to him, or maybe they'll go on uh, on eBay. Um, but uh, say, I do love uh, to look through these. Um, Anyway, uh, oh, just out of interest, that's the uh, uh, the 1959 edition, and then you move to this. Uh, Sophie bought me this, December 2011. Uh, so she came in with this, and this is now in its 79th year. And uh, okay, the magazine's got bigger. There, there seems to be more uh, pictures of uh, people in it than. Uh, um, than equipment there are uh, things in there but um, I think if I could belong to a time I think I would rather be going back um, to this sort of time when uh, you know uh, all of these little projects and things to get you excited um, I don't know. Am I old-fashioned? If I am, I don't care. Uh, okay. Well, I just um, I thought they were interesting to uh, to have a look at, and um, uh, I hope you found them interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.